Welcome, uh, welcome here on uh, Need Help at C squared. In this example, we're going to look to a rational function. Yeah, that's uh, the green graph you see here is a rational function, and we're going to look uh, to evaluate limits based on the graph. So, yeah, you have these four limits, and uh, let's take a look at the first one, this one here. Okay, that one says limit when x approach infinity of f of x. That means what's happened when x is getting larger, 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 larger. And if you notice, it's getting closer and closer to zero. Very simple. What about the second one? This one means uh, what's happened when x is getting smaller. So we're going to think backwards like this. That's, that's the thing, right? So what's happened when x is getting closer and closer to negative infinity, which I Obviously, this negative is not, it will never be reached. Again, we notice that the function goes close to zero. So, zero. What about the next two? Let's start with this one. Okay. This one. This one means what's happened when the function goes close to 3, right? You see this x equals 3, which is the vertical asymptote, by the way. And this minus, 3 minus, means the left side. So again, we're going to look to the graph. And you're going to notice the graph is going down, 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 closer to this asymptote. But down means negative infinity. Okay, and we have the last one, which says 3 plus. That means what's happened on the other side, right? When I go close to 3, number larger than 3. So I'm looking here. And again, I get closer and closer to 3, 3, okay, in fact, here is probably the best way to see it, closer, closer to 3, and the function is going up, up, this is positive infinity, okay. In other words, these are the asymptotes, you can use the limits process to get the asymptotes, yeah, yeah one asymptote is y equals 0, the horizontal one, and x equals 3 is the uh, vertical one, so, uh, you can use this limit process to get the asymptotes, or you can use the asymptotes to get the limits. If you enjoy this video clip, don't forget to click the like button, and come back and see for more help. Thank you.